Which feed materials are sensitive to which reagents? For example, plastics, ebonite feeds against bleach, ammonia, soap, water, uh, etc. Which cleaning agent will work best for pigmented inks? Okay, so kind of a two-parter question here. Um, let me start out with water because that's the easiest one to address. Um, specific, specifically in your question, you asked about warm water. I didn't say that just now, but that's what you said, uh, Brian. Sweet name, by the way. Um, warm water is okay, but don't go with hot water. You gotta be really careful here. I like to say lukewarm water. So basically, especially if you have ebonite feeds, if, you have, if your water is too hot, it could end up actually warping the feed and that would be bad or other parts of the pen, especially if you have vintage pens and you're cleaning it out and you have you know, shellac and other things that are used to kind of hold the pen parts together and you're using hot water, that can actually melt the shellac and cause the pen to pretty much come apart. So that you don't really wanna do. So I never recommend using hot water, even though technically hot water cleans better, it can also cause damage to your pen. So I never recommend hot water. Lukewarm water is best. Um, as far as using chemicals and stuff, so the lightest step from just using plain water is uh, dish soap, you know, like a liquid detergent, you know, Dawn type um, dish soap. It's pretty gentle, honestly. Um, you know, mix it in with your water, make sure it's diluted, don't just go dumping soap straight on the pen, unless it's really bad. Um, but it's, it's really not gonna cause any harm to your pen. It's pretty safe stuff. Um, you know, I can't guess, I guess I can't guarantee everything in all situations, but you're gonna be pretty safe with that. So try that um, and just using uh, soapy water. That will usually do a pretty good job. And honestly, everything I'm saying right here kind of applies to pigmented inks as well. Um, so I'm just kind of lumping these kind of two things together. Um, ammonia is kind of like the next one that you could do. Um, Honestly, ammonia, you want to dilute it. You don't want to use straight ammonia. You know, ammonia is a, a general like household cleaner. So it's pretty safe on a lot of different like countertops and surfaces and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't recommend, um, you know, soaking it uh, for long periods of time in uh, a heavily like ammonia solution. Um, you're going to want to dilute it pretty good if you end up doing that. And um, the thing you want to be careful about with ammonia um, is you don't want to use it uh, for an extended period of time on aluminum because it will react with aluminum. So if you, it's okay if you need to like just flush out a pen, like for example, if you have the Lamy logo or something like that, that's aluminum. So you, you, you can flush it out and stuff like that, but I wouldn't soak the aluminum parts in it, okay? Um, and you want to make sure it's, it's pretty well diluted. Um, then you're talking about bleach. Bleach gets kind of weird. There's certain uh, inks, for example, the Noodler's Base Day series, that bleach is what cuts through that ink. So bleach is good in that situation, but bleach is definitely a harsher chemical um, that you want to be careful with. Specifically, bleach and stainless steel don't play nicely together. So if you have a pen and you're cleaning it out, um, I would not recommend soaking stainless steel parts like nibs center bands, anything like that, any really metal components, I wouldn't soak that in bleach. I just wouldn't do it. Um, it's okay to clean it out. And I would make sure that it's again, heavily diluted, you know, 10% probably um, into water. Um, so then, you know, and we're talking household bleach. Bleach, there's like industrial bleaches and stuff like that. Um, my father actually power washes houses. I did that for a couple of years coming right out of school. And when you buy like industrial level bleach, it's like a 40% bleach solution and it's really, really caustic and can, you know, you get that, you get industrial bleach on your fingers and it'll start to eat away your skin in a matter of seconds. It's pretty nasty stuff. So it's really kind of harsh and you want to make sure that you don't need, you don't use that unless you really need to. Um, so even in a, like a base state blue type situation, which is where a lot of this conversation comes out, bleach will cut through it pretty well. But what you want to do is heavily dilute it and you want to make sure that you're not doing that like every day. You know, if you're using an ink like that, that needs that degree of chemical to clean, clean out of it, it's better to just kind of dedicate one pen to it and use it and only clean it out on a, you know, less frequent basis with that. You know, it's going to kind of leave a stain uh, on it. Uh, but it's not causing like a permanent harsh stain that will clean up with the bleach, but you just want to make sure you're not uh, doing that all the time because it's, it's not the safe, 
the safest thing to use necessarily. For pigmented inks, I don't think you need to go with bleach because it's gonna be pretty impermeable to that, but I think um, the, the most important thing with the pigmented stuff is you wanna make sure that you're not leaving it to dry out in the pen. That's really where it causes a problem because when it dries out completely, those pigments kind of adhere to your feed and stuff like that. It's just not fun to clean that out. What really helps in that situation, using like a pen flush, um, like I, you know, a Goulet pen flush, something like that that's been developed or any of the things I've talked about here, I wouldn't worry about bleach, but you know, any of the soap or, uh, you know, ammonia can help. Um, but then if you uh, have a physical object to help to clean. You know, if you have a pen that you can disassemble, for example, a noodler's pen, and you can pull the nib and feed out fairly easily, and you have an old toothbrush, and using like a cleaning agent and then um, uh, scrubbing it with the toothbrush, if you get into a situation where the pigmented ink is like dried up in the pen, that's where it's best. But honestly, your best bet for cleaning a pigmented ink out of a pen is preemptive maintenance. So making sure that you're not letting it dry out in the pen, that you're cleaning it out regularly, that you're using the pen regularly. Those inks are great, but they are a little higher maintenance than typical fountain pen inks. So uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure in that case. And then lastly, I want to address, this wasn't something you specifically, specifically asked about, but I do get asked about it from time to time, using an ultrasonic cleaner. An ultrasonic cleaner is basically like what you see at jewelry stores, where you just kind of put it in and it like, zzz, like vibrates. That can help with certain pens, um, specifically if you have dried up old ink that can kind of clean it out. And you can use cleaning agents, uh, for example, soapy water or something in combination with an ultrasonic cleaner and that'll help out. You just gotta make sure that any of these cleaning agents that you're using, that you're flushing it with clear water after the fact. So any of those I think will help you out.